Hey, it's Noel Powell with CreationEffects.com, and I'm here to show you this cool, inexpensive title animation for Adobe After Effects. I call it Title Mashup, and it's really easy to edit. You just edit your text once on a single layer, and it will automatically update all the titles and display them quickly on different backgrounds to produce this uh, stop-motion collage effect. It has 30 unique titles that cover a bunch of different styles and themes, and actually, you could always use these titles by themselves if you want. Uh, you don't have to play them all together. They're just text layers, uh, so you can just edit them with the text tool. And you can change their font to whatever you want. And you can customize the appearance of each title using the customization controls on the text layers. But if you just want a quick collage animation or mashup, like I said, uh, you just edit the text once and you can change the duration that they appear and uh, there are controls to adjust all the titles and backgrounds all at once to minimize the amount of work that you have to do. So let's have a look inside the template and I'll show you how to customize it in After Effects. All right, after you download the zip file, if you're in Windows, I recommend you right click it and choose the Extract All option. Or on a Mac, you can uh, just double click it to open. And then open the Title Mashup project in After Effects version 17 or later. I'll hide this instructions layer here. So it's a really simple setup, uh, just this one comp with all our titles playing in sequence. And uh, each title is paired with a background. To change the text, uh, just unhide and solo this control layer that says edit your text here. And I'll use my text tool to edit the text. And that updates all the other text layers. And then if everything looked good to you, uh, you would go to your project panel and just drag this entire comp uh, into the comp with your footage or wherever you need that title. And then you can scale that layer down and position it where you want. But let's have a look at the customization options. If I select the control layer and look in my effect controls panel, there's a bunch of customization controls. Uh, first, we've got a, a checkbox control for using the same font. So right now I could change the font of this text in my character panel, and all the titles will now have that font. Or if I uncheck this box, then I could use a separate font for each title if I wanted by changing it on each text layer. Likewise, if I uncheck the box for this font size, I could manually set the size for any of the titles. Uh, next we have position and scale. Um, just a quick warning about these. Uh, I recommend you keep the titles in the middle of the comp and uh, keep them close to this size. The reason is the titles are all optimized for this position and size. For example, if you lower the font size a lot, it'll scale down the characters, but it won't scale down the textures or the patterns on those titles, and it won't reduce the thickness of the strokes. So it, it might affect readability a bit, and uh, you'd probably have to check each title and make sure that they look okay. So uh, just something to keep in mind. Um, you can scale it down a little, that's no big deal. And uh, if you run out of room for your text, uh, you can always scale this comp up. You can do that in the Composition Settings panel. Um, next, we've got some basic text properties here, like italics and tracking. Uh, these will affect all the titles together. And uh, I realize that most people's titles are not going to be exactly this length. Uh, you may have more characters than this. So you have a couple options uh, for resizing the backgrounds so that they fit around your titles. Uh, you can use this background scale control, which scales all the images. And uh, if you just make and scale it in one direction, it will stretch them, which may or may not be a good look. Uh, it depends on the background. But you have another option. Uh, it's a bit more time consuming. You can go to each background layer and double click the mask. And then you can resize the mask. All right, and the last sections of controls here are the stop motion controls. Uh, these just add a position and rotation wiggle to your titles. And you can set the frame rate. Um, this section of controls affects this adjustment layer here. So it wiggles everything, uh, the titles and the backgrounds. And then these controls only affect the titles. So you can choose which one you want, or do both if you want. As I mentioned, each title has a ton of controls for customizing the effects and properties of that title. Uh, there are 30 titles here, and they're taken from the Creation Title Effects template, 
which has a total of 200 titles like these, and they cover a huge variety of themes and genres and styles, and they're all animated. So you can check out that template if you want. I'll leave a, a link in the description. Um, so you can get a, a lot of different looks for these when you play with the controls. Uh, you can keyframe the controls to get an animated quality. And uh, some of these have 3D extrusions on them, and they're compatible with your camera if you add a camera. Um, just be sure to read these instructions on the title layers if you're doing a lot of customization. Uh, these comments can have a lot of helpful information on them. And then the only thing left to discuss is timing. Um, I've got all the titles and backgrounds in sequence like this. So you can rearrange their order if you want. And let me show you the quickest way to change the duration of the layers. Uh, here's how I would do it. Select the top title and then shift select the last background layer to select all the layers. And then you can extend them to be as long as you want them. And then right click and keyframe assistant and sequence layers and click OK. And uh, then you'll need to select all those background layers and just drag them back under the titles. And that's the title mashup. Uh, hopefully you get some good use out of those titles, even if you don't mash them together. Again, if you want to save a lot of time uh, in future projects with a, a ready-made title for every occasion or type of video, go check out the creation title effects template at that link in the description. And while you're there, you can sneak a peek at the new space effects, which allows anyone with After Effects to create really high quality space animations or creation artifacts, uh, which turns your footage into animated artwork in a bunch of different mediums. Or creation trippy effects, which is full of trippy animations and psychedelic effects for your footage. Or landscaper, which lets you make any kind of 3D landscape animation in After Effects. Or flocks, swarms, and schools, which are some popular templates for adding custom flocks of birds or swarms of insects and schools of fish to your videos. All that and a bunch more at creationeffects.com.